this is Sarah's. <laughs> and this is Sarah's night. And, and SK is laughing. I'm sorry, I just, I just like it, it, explain it to him because I'm. Explain him? I farted. <laughs> That's it? I was just like, dude, like, dude, you're ready, like, just saying, you know, okay, you're ready to get back into recording. It's just like, you know it, and then you just... <laughs> oh my gosh, dude, that's disgusting. I apologize. Yeah, yeah, you should. Okay, so... Oh my gosh, that's rank. Well... What's wrong with you? <laughs> uh... What, what, what provoked this? Um... Well, you see, when you consume certain foods, and you digest it, <coughs> sometimes okay, the um, breaking down of the food, along with, you know, your digestive system, will actually build up some gases. Actually, I could Mostly swear, methane. I could swear, like, the, what, well, it's like a channel that, uh, what's it called, like, mm -hmm. Vsauce? Oh yeah, Vsauce. Or, or the, or... Dude. talks about, like, the science of stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's Vsauce. Like, this one was about, like, you know, every now and then you just end up swallowing so much air it gets converted to methane in you and your body's got to expel it somehow. So, bye. Bang! <laughs> okay, so, I went ahead and gave Billy all the handgun ammo because I wanted him to, you know, his gun's better. And he's also got the shotgun, but I thought, you know, the fact that Becca's got, you know, Molotov cocktails and the Magnum... The thing is, I, I was thinking, you know, about, like, dropping their gun completely just to keep a perpetual item, like, have a, you know, one more item space free for the rest of the game. Just having her drop the gun completely and having Billy just be on hand and do you. But it's like, if she's fighting with me when we encounter a monster... She, she needs something. She's gonna end up... She's gonna end up using well, up, you know, no, like, no, more powerful ammunition she, no, she than won't. Uh, you can go, uh, switch to her. Like, if you switch to her, like, like actually switch to her, like, become... I'm on her right now. Like, yeah. Oh, okay. Bring back your menu? Okay. Oh, no, you need to switch to Billy. See, if you set the character from attack to idle, they won't shoot at all. Oh, that's right. God, I... I have noticed that before, just all this time, never... In, in this particular playthrough, I just never, you know, even looked at there. that particular Now she feature. will not consume ammo. Well, actually, she can for now. Might as well go ahead and use up the rest of that clip. <laughs> so, you know. <coughs> Alright, uh... Obviously, what's gonna need to happen in here is... I'm going alone. Roger. Somebody needs I to already have my entire life. It's like, I'll go alone. Since I already have my entire life so far anyways. Oh. Pity party. Feel bad for me. Actually, while you were out, uh, while you were out earlier and I was, you know, I was doing some stuff off camera, at one point I had, you know, Becca just do the auto, you know, go into solo, but she was already on point, so she's the one that's like, I'll go alone! <laughs> or no, no, it was her telling uh, Billy to team back up. She was like, Come on already, and like waving her hand, like you know. Yeah. And you just heard, I actually heard Billy respond from like up above, <laughs> uh, like up above the, the 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 tram car where you know he was still at he was still at the uh, place where you could put the coils in, mm -hmm. and you actually just heard him go from like you know up, up above you like, yeah. <laughs> he sounded so bored. <laughs> it was it was kind of funny. Okay, so as long as I'm out of the way of that, I can have Becca then move. What? Perhaps if you fill it when he's on the floor, because you drown. Oh, you push it the wrong no, way. No, it, it just won't. It just won't let you do it, I, if I recall. Can you not push it back to be alongside the other two? Oh, you can rotate the other way. Yes. Okay. That's what I meant to do, was rotate it right. And you can get uh, two boxes down there now. Actually, just in case, I probably like I'm not able to sort it out in my mind like right away yeah, in one sitting. So I think what I need to do, probably just to be extra cautious, need to uh, go ahead and move that one all the way over. I, I don't know if it will block anything, you know, eventually. But I figured the smartest thing. Wait a minute. This 
still won't work. Because I'm not going to be able to... No. Wait. If I put it here... Because you see, I have kind of like a little alcove off to the left of it where I can get on the other side and push the box. Oh, so what you want to do... So what I need to do now is move the rotate gate... Rotate the gate counterclockwise. Yeah. Clever. <laughs> and then... You jump off to that alcove and push it inwards. Well, actually, is that... Yeah. It's yeah. still not going to work, is it? Because yeah. now I'm not going to be able to move it either way. No, no, no. Oh, Do you, you see what get, I'm talking you about? You can't get between the gate. And, and the box to move it... Uh, yeah, is there a way to salvage this? Because I'm uh, really not sure. It's felt like the right thing to do, though. Uh, can you... Alright. I think I know what to do. Okay. Alright, switch back to Rebecca, rotate the, the gate again. might be really tricksy. Okay. Now get back behind the box. Now every time you push it, you push it like a half step, not like a full step. Like if two pushes equal like a block's worth. Yeah. So get behind it uh, and push it one tick closer to the wall. That might give you enough leeway to get back behind the gate like once it's rotated close. And, I, and while still being able to push it from... Yeah, like, just the, push it one tick. Like, me. <laughs> like, I'm too afraid to, like, hold on to the button. Alright, now, leave Billy there and just rotate it closed. I'm willing to bet she says, I can't, Billy's in the way. Oh. Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, maybe I can just hop back off after she... Just hop back off of the box. Did you do it the wrong way? I don't know. Yeah. Okay, there we go. What was that gonna do to him? It would have just it, might... it would have just banged against the boxes and you know. Now maybe you can get between that. <coughs> Excuse me? No. Really? That looks like there's plenty of space. Plenty. Mm. What if you went ahead and pushed it all the way against the the one box there, right? Like yeah. this way. And uh then you could rotate the door open from the other direction? Maybe. Oh wait, actually I think if I can I think if I can just uh, like get this uh vertical ways one more time. Where which ways I need to go right, yeah. And then go. D Seriously? Okay, whatever. We'll, we'll just push it against the wall. Go around. Like, if I just get this gray one that only Billy can move all the way against the back that of the wall. That one sinks in the water, right? Yeah. Billy. Billy. What's the problem? Why is he not moving it? He can't move it from certain sides? Hold the run button. No. Was that it? Holding the run button? No, I, I didn't do anything. Why, why can't he move it from... 
this thing is probably like literally one centimeter over onto. Yeah! Didn't mean to move it all the way. Okay, I was about to say, if you could only move it from like the east and west sides, that would be stupid. Yeah, that was it. That was. And then I should be able to get the second box. Well. Uh, yeah. No, because in any event, I'd still have to be able to get behind this one that I already put down here in order to... Oh my gosh. Did I mention this puzzle's a little bit annoying? Oh. Really? Really? Billy. Billy, stop being dumb. Okay, just trying to make sure I'm... Can't, I can't get back around to on this side of the box in order to push it further over that way. That's... And no matter what I do now. Okay, well, no, we might be able to salvage this, alright? First, rotate it back open again. Okay. Then go to the box on oh, the other side. Let me do it. Do it. Okay. Alright, now go ahead and push that box against the wall. And the second it's past the gate, make sure you can push it into the center section. I don't think I can. Like, like just push? Yeah, that way. Yeah. Alright, now on the other side of it, like, can you get on the... No, that was the problem. I couldn't get there. No, like, like, the, the, there's a lip of it right there. Can't you not push on that? No. It's way too far in. <sighs> Alright, push it against the wall anyways. Screw it. And... Drop between the gaps and push it in snugly in the... Oh, well now it's screwed. There is no reason why you can't push that, get between those, and push that box around. Well, not only that, it doesn't look like three boxes fit here, period. No, no, there's a half gap between there and a half gap between the wall. Uh, there's, like, no space between me and the wall. There is no way a third one could... No, there's could, clearly a gap. There's a half gap. That is not a half... Dude, what, that's, what? that's not even a third. That's not even a fourth of the length of the box. Yes, yeah, look... Look, no. you can see it. Look, look, move Billy. Look, move Billy, move Billy. Like, see, here's the... E no, no, no. See, you can see the edge here, and there's there's a line here, Yeah. And a wall uh, here. Uh, those two put together, a box is not fitting in that. Another box is not fitting in that. Uh, I'm sorry, but three boxes go there. That's how you get across. Are you absolutely sure? Well, all right, fill it back up with water so you can cross it on two. I'm pretty sure you can't. I don't see how a third box could possibly fit in that. Can I? You gotta be kidding me. I was about to say. Can I not even get off the box and onto the ladder? Well, this episode's just gonna be the box puzzle episode. What ifs? You know what? These, they should be, like, even if they only had two boxes, it freaking, you should be able to jump that. Chris or Leon could easily jump without any boxes. Yeah. It wouldn't even... No! We have to be able to casually walk this. That's, 
That's almost a casual walk. Like, you wouldn't even have to jump. You could, like, just make a big step. <laughs> a, ver a very elegant step like I just did. <laughs> With your foot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, how is this supposed to go? Well, you're going to have to leave and reset the puzzle is what you're going to have to do now. Yeah, if you don't have a choice. I, I swear if a zombie shows up as soon as I leave the door, <laughs> Billy calls for help. Ah! <laughs> Okay, now where does the box that's already in place sit? Huh? Ooh, what? Where? where does the box that's already in place sit as far as like the where do the three boxes need to be? Like dead center, right? Uh, yeah, I assume that's it. Well, now it looks like just from that perspective. Right I here, told you. Okay, okay, whatever. I just want to solve this, man. I don't care who's right and wrong. All right. Okay, now an easy way to do this would be okay. I'm gonna just point. All right, actually, yeah. Here, no, I got this. <laughs> Wait, what are you doing? Making this a lot easier for me, so I can still sit in this chair. Oh, and, and so okay, okay. okay. <laughs> so here we go. Right. So if you look, this box is in the way, right? We need to move it. Hmm. Well, all right, so. I'm assuming we leave this box right where it is, right? Never touch it. If you move this box over here, right, and then open the gate, this can go straight in where it needs to go. All right. Problem is, now we need to get this box who, that'll now be here you out of the way, which you can't. Oh, no, no, no. no. Mm -hmm. No. No, that won't work. No. Okay, if... Once it's against this the wall, though, it's not coming off. But then but then I can go from the other side and then move it back against this wall so that I can move the second one here in the middle a little bit forward. And, and then, then over to here, the left and then push it here. At least ideally. Alright, let's do I that. Mean, yeah. Okay. It was like, you figured it out yet? Are we ready to do this? Yeah, we have a game plan. Oh, wait, wait. I gotta go ahead and... I gotta go ahead and move the gray one over. Yeah. I like to think that a whole other box can fit in the space from between the wall and mm -hmm. where the two wooden boxes are. I'm pretty right sure now. we don't touch the the box that's already in place. No, no, the, on the other side. Um, okay, so here's that. Then I don't know. Maybe we maybe we just overcomplicated it last time. Maybe. Whatever. Wouldn't have been the first time. Probably won't be the last. Now, I made the same mistake the starting off the the last time. Now, why couldn't I remember? I hate it when I get my left and right mixed up. Yeah, now go to your right. To your other right. <laughs> that's just how we've... Right. That's, that, that's how we've always treated <laughs> that, it. That's how we've corrected it. Just say, okay, the other, the other right. right. Billy. Keep going, Billy. Now you get to jump up on it and just come around. Come on, Billy, get it. Get it. Get it. You can get it, Billy. Okay, I was about to say, if that, if that other wooden box is in the way, I can't move it over at all or else I will get stuck. That... It doesn't look like it. Like but it. It looks like they're still touching, but it But you should be able to... Oh, you're going to have to close it. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to have to close it anyway and push it forward to be able to get in between. Get in between! Boom. Do these. <laughs> Count the green. Get in between. Do <laughs> these. Uh, no, 
No. Back to Becca. No filling. Just rotating. Giggity. Really? Sorry, I mean... <laughs> That was the perfect time for Quagmire to do a giggity right there. <laughs> oh! All right! Now make sure you push it down and not against the wall first, because if you do that, then a puzzle's screwed again. And then there. Yeah. Yeah, I think we just... Made it yeah, more, way complicated more complicated than it needed to be last time. Like, adding more steps. We're like, well, if we push it a half block here. Yeah. Right. Right. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Great. Done. Honestly, I, I think Billy would even be athletic enough just to be able to stand on top of a box and make a leap up and grab onto, you know, the edge. Or right how here. about this? Crazy thought here. Well, even if there's no <coughs> boxes and you weren't athletic enough, swim across. Just get uh, maybe, wet for a second. Just swim! Maybe they're just that scared that there's like T virus in the water or something. Or that there's just something hazardous in it, because, I mean, this is the Resident Evil world, so... Alright, well... You know, you know what? Just, like, touch it with your foot. Touch the water with your foot and see if it's... I mean, you'll be able to tell right away whether it's a Look sink or it, not. Look, there you go, you two. A nice, clean little freaking bridge where you don't even have to worry about... Taking a slightly larger step. <laughs> I... Mm-mm-mm. Got the green. Get in between. Big. <laughs> count the fifties. It was like hundreds and fifties. <laughs> Big fat fifties. And something that rhymed with party with bitches. <laughs> I think that was the first one. Then it was like hundreds and fifties. Uh. Big fat fifties. Yeah, and then count the green. Or get in between. <laughs> the fifties. Okay, finally. That's done. Wow, that probably took like, what, 20 minutes of the video already? Yeah, we don't have a whole lot more to... we can do before we're gonna have to call it. Unfortunate. But what can you do? Okay, so we're gonna need to find a battery somewhere in order to lift up that forklift right there and grab whatever that is on the cliff edge. So, anyone for pull? Pinball machine. Of course Becca wouldn't know what video games are. She's cool. a total brainiac. That starts with P. It rhymes with T. It stands for trouble. Oh, yes, sir, trouble. Right near River City. Oh. Don't pay attention. It's something I do a lot. I okay yeah there's the well that was easy did like is another feature of like the upgrade handgun that the bulls can go through more than one person so the I'm sorry those are not people more than one zombie excuse me <laughs> God man you know what? Was it their choice that they lost their humanity? Did they say, they like, you know, travel down to the night circle of hell one day to the frozen lake and go to Satan at his big old podium? I, I, like, I assume this is like uh, a cartoon. A podium, okay. Yeah, he's got like a big old judge stand or something. And, yeah. And they're like, you know what? Satan, take away my humanity. Turn me into a zombie. I won't be human anymore. You think they did that? You think they asked to be infected with the T-Virus and be turned into a soulless, shambling, walking dead? No. No, I don't. Then why are you jumping on their nuts? I 
I'm not jumping on their nuts. I'm you're just like, saying. those are not people. They're not. They're zombies. Like it's, but you're saying it's so accusatory. Like, well, it doesn't they... matter how I say it. It's still true. You're, no, no. You're a horrible person. Not me. You. It's all Whatever, you. Whatever, fatty. Why don't you go cram another Baconator down your gullet? Who weighs over 200 pounds, bro? Uh, well, who's eaten where, like where? they weigh over oh, 200 pounds? They are the zombies. Oh, well, that's not good. Okay, uh, Becca, move. Please. Fine, I'll just take a while to re-aim, sure. Oh my gosh, we got sandwiched here. Real bad, how did this happen? I don't know, but, um... I need to be careful with Becca's health. Well, I wasn't... Oh, nope, still alive. And the zombie is probably singing Glados right now. I'm still alive. You know, a lot of people... The thing is, from, like, from this perspective... I could like I thought this machine right here, whatever this is, was actually blocking the wall. So I was like, well, I can't. Of course, I'm aiming in their direction, but they're on the other side, of it, and I can't shoot over that. But it turns uh, out there was like a total gap here, and there was like more than one, you know, three at a time. Meanwhile, these guys were coming over from this way. So okay. Anyway, you were saying? Uh, I, I don't actually know. Well, I was talking about Glados, and you sounded like that just reminded you of something. Gosh, I you're about to say something like, chain of thought. I thought you were about to say something like, you know, a lot of people, you you started off like that, kind of? You know, a lot of people aren't zombies. I know, that's not what I was going to say, but, <laughs> but I'm just saying. Really? I bet that put him on yellow caution. I'm nope. shocked. She's more of that. You know that's one of the most genius songs ever made. Um, Still alive from uh, poor. Oh, Glad Glados. Okay. Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, did I pronounce it wrong? No, no. Is it actually Glados? Because I, I, I was saying Glados. Uh, I think it's a GLaDOS. And, uh, did you ever hear the credit song to Portal 2? Uh-uh. Wish You Were Gone? It's also a good song. Or Glad You're Gone. Is it as legendary? No, it's not as legendary, but it's still, still good. Alive. It's still good. We should do that, man. We should play, uh, freaking... Co-op Portal 2. That was a fun time. Okay. That's what I say. Watch him be right off screen to where I get nauseous just because I want to get a view of him. Now, will Rebecca change her weapon as soon as it's empty? Actually, I'm not sure. Well, you might want to check how much she's got in that handgun before she tw switches to the Magnum. That definitely had to have been her last shot. Yep. Uh, no. That's really... Change over to her, and then tell her to be out. Alright, then you can drop that pistol for that slot. Yes. Or how about just don't drop it till you need the slot? Okay, yeah. How about that? Now, for some reason, there was a red container over there where I can get that red chemical. I can't imagine why we need it for anything else past that, you know, making the stripping agent for that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I knew it. For, uh,. To dissolve that capsule contain the leech shaped key. Because apparently that's a thing with Marcus. 
Eh, I guess it was worth killing one zombie to get two green herbs. That's all there was to it. Actually, you know what? Just in case. Let's go ahead and grab that red chemical just somehow we need it for something later. Right. After, actually, it might be a good idea to call it here and while yeah. you do that off camera. And we'll be back once we're ready to make some forward progress.